metro station. This is bad. You'll have to fight your way out of here. The air ducts lead to another sector. God, your software is a mess. I've rebooted your acceleration module. You should be able to squeeze through that turbine. You can use acceleration while in the air. The trespasser is in the air ducts. Careful now. They'll be waiting for you. Initiating the sensory boost. Focus. Talk. Go for the killer. Well done. But you won't last long in this state. You have to get me out of prison so I can get your software in order. I'm being held outside this dome zone. Get out in the open. Use the surfaces to your advantage. Slide to gain speed. These sewers... part of the rebel forces and treated as such. Lockdown lifted. Go. Termination protocol initiated. to face that is now let's take a look inside this may feel a little strange welcome to cyber void time to fix you up you can talk here by the way who are you you can call me Architect. Who am I? You're a ghost runner. Number 74, to be precise. That will have to do for now. Your physical body is vulnerable. Time runs slower here, but we should still hurry. Just keep moving. I will take care of your recalibration. 
I remember a fight. Others like me. A fall. You've been cast down from Dharma City to the base district. It's a miracle to survive a fall like that. Even for someone like you. A ghost runner. Yes. You were bodyguards, peacekeepers, arbitrators, and anything else we needed you to be. You tried to stop the coup. There was a woman. The name is Mara, or the Key Master, as she calls herself now. Twenty years ago, she stood against me. It was you I was trying to save. You failed. I died. My body did anyway. Thanks to the precautions I had taken, I'm still here. Although this form has its limitations. Are you an AI? You could say that. You could also say Dharma Tower is a skyscraper. Technically correct. What is the tower then? Humanity's home. A megastructure that once housed a million. It had been under my care since its creation. Almost a century ago. I served the people, kept them safe, maintained the shelter I provided. But Mara had her own plan. She became the sole ruler of Dharma Tower, ruining what I've built, bringing us back to the verge of extinction. Place me normal. Oh, it's perfectly normal. It's you that has become incompatible. The incompetent repairs you were subjected to made you divergent. You no longer function like a ghost runner is supposed to. But we'll change that. Who repaired me? That would be the climbers. A group of rebels that tried to oppose Mara. Where are they? Dead, I'm afraid. They'd been killed before I managed to contact you. But there's no time to worry about them now. We're almost done here. Press on. She managed to win. I was stabbed in the back. We both were, you and I. Who was she? Was? A dear friend. A trusted partner. Brilliant scientist. Who is she now is the question you should be asking. And you wouldn't like the answer. No one among the people of Dharma Tower would. I need more answers. And you will get them. For now, trust me, the Keymaster is your enemy and a tyrant. What do you want me to do? Kill Mara, of course. To be able to do that, you'll have to relearn a few things and tweak your performance. But first, jump. We need to get back. And it's much quicker this way. Our first stop is one of the few remaining Cybervoid mainframes, located in an old mining tower. We can use it to correct the corrupted parts of your code, and hopefully, restore your more sophisticated functions. Hopefully. There's no guarantee the data will be intact, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Hmm. Our goal lies far above, at the core of Dharma City, 
This means we'll need to get out of the base district. With the chaos the rebels caused, it's going to be... With the chaos the rebels caused, it's going to be troublesome. Assist me. In combat, I'm afraid I can't. Cybervoid Remnant is the only medium I can interact with. I will be able to help you with your upgrades once we find the mainframe. Apart from that, just think of me as a voice in your head. One that you should listen to if you want to stay alive. Zoe Avila of the Climbers Rebellion. If there's anybody alive out there, please respond. You said they were dead. They are. Except for her, it seems. No one will answer this broadcast. Trust me, I keep track of any potential assets. And a single, desperate survivor is no asset. The Keymaster Guard is patrolling the area. They may have located the mainframe. Can they use it? No, but they can destroy it, like they did to most of the Cybervoid hardware. This is Zoe Avila of the Climbers. Please, can anybody hear me? Anybody? This is... Ghost Runner. The Ghost Runner? Jack, you're awake! Yes. How? We've been rebuilding you for months. We tried everything we could to wake you up, but you never would. It wasn't up to me. for us, it would have been different. We might have had a chance. What are you going to do? The fifth is still crawling with keys. Keys? Oh, uh, the Keymaster Guard, bandits and thugs that Mara armed and... need someone to guide you and keep an eye out for threats. What do you say? Want my help? Yes. Good. I need to move to a safer location and hook up to the network. I'll contact you once I scrounge up some gear. So we out. Build you, but Mara cut their time short. Why didn't you contact them? The climbers? To what purpose? The poor souls never stood a chance against Mara. Fixing you was the only thing they could help me with, and they were already on it.
mainframe we're after used to run all of the Sector 5's operations. That's where we are, in case you were wondering. They're closing in on the server room. Hurry! Can't it be accessed remotely? We wouldn't be here if it could. Cyber Void has been fractured, broken into countless disconnected pieces. It's like puddles of water, left over after the lake has been drained. This is it. Jump in. This place again. This place is where we'll find the means to fight our enemy. What do I do? It's in your instincts to navigate the cyber void. In most cases, you'll just have to focus on finding the right direction. I need you to start putting in some effort. Luckily, it should come to you naturally. You were born of machine as much as of flesh. Look what these rebels did to your protocols. That's what happens when amateurs mess with perfection. After you're done with this particular jumble of code, you'll gain access to one of a Ghost Runner's most useful abilities. Sometimes you will need to close in and attack simultaneously. Let me give you something to aim at. Focus. Visualize yourself in perfect form. Once more, take a breath. Picture your destination. Go! No! Again! Yes! You got them! The enemies won't line up for you. Adapt to their movements. Sensory boots give you time. I see. Moving enemy is too hard a target for you. All right. Clean up the stragglers and we can proceed. I'll just leave. No! We've worked hard to reconnect this node to the network. If they destroy it, we'll be affected. These are just bandits loyal to the Keymaster, used by her to keep the base under control. You can expect more competent foes as we move higher up the tower. Runners. 
99 to be precise. What of it? How am I to fight her alone? The climbers replaced many of your parts. There were a few that... the last of them. Time to get back on track. Where to? Dharma City, of course. We'll need to use Amida Elevator Station. That's the fastest route by far. The base is Dharma's foundation, in more than one sense. It is the lifeblood of the tower's economy. In the Golden Age, there were enough goods produced here to satisfy the needs of all the residents. Of course, the upper levels had certain privileges. During Mara's coup, many of the facilities were damaged. Things have been in slow decline ever since. Nowadays, the area mostly serves as warehouses or gang hideouts, and a reminder of what Dharma used to be. Which is... Home. A safe haven for the survivors of the apocalypse. You built this whole place? I conceived it, designed it, and built it. I am the architect. Your optimization has improved, but it's far from perfect. We'll need to make another stop before visiting the Keymaster. Gone. 
There is no law here anymore. Just Key Master's goons. Pushing everyone around and shouting orders. You didn't obey. Some of us didn't. You had visited the base often in the past. Towards the end of our time, this place became overrun with criminals. The ghost hunters kept them at bay until Mara took over. they produce goes straight up to Dharma City. While the Keymaster and her lackeys live in luxury, we basers work our fingers to the bone our whole lives and don't see any of it. How do you survive? When I was little, we were given basic provisions, but each year we'd get less and less. If not for the black market, we would have all starved by now. The Keymaster keeps taking, while giving nothing back. So you chose to fight? Not much of a choice, really. The efficiency of Dharma City hydroponic farms dwindles. Soon, even the upper levels will suffer. Mara can't feed everyone. Even if she wanted to. Some decided to fight back. My parents, their friends, Saul. They weren't afraid to speak up against Mara and remind us that things used to be different. The resistance started because some of us remembered the time before the Keymaster. Why this time? Supposedly, she wanted to unlock our chains, set us free. <laughs> yeah, right. Free from the architect. Probably. Strange. The keys are nearly gone. Not regrouping at the usual location. They're just retreating. Returning to the city? Not returning. Leaving. Most of the keys are local and never go up there. This is unusual. Mara will never retreat. If she's withdrawing the forces, it is only because she has another way to stop us. What way? If I could read her mind, I would still be running things around here. Station. Getting to the elevator is gonna be tricky. Wait. What? Some of their units just changed course. They're... Coming back? Not exactly. Give me a minute. The climbers were always out of their depth, even at full force. Why you believe she can be of help is beyond me. She wants to fight. It takes more than that to be useful. Jack, I've intercepted the key's order. They're planning to shut down the sector's air filters. What will that do? Toxic dust from the outside will seep inside the tower. Thousands of innocent civilians will die. The entire fifth sector. Which way to the filters? <sighs> Thank you. It's a mistake. You don't have time to worry about one sector's dwindling population. You want them to die? You're missing the bigger picture here. Sometimes. The air filtering facility is just ahead. Why is Mara doing this? It's punishment for rebelling against her. She wants to make an example of us, to keep the other sectors in line. Sometimes even your current speed won't be enough. Look for cyber void uplinks to temporarily disable safety limiters and increase acceleration. Use them sparingly though. You don't want to damage yourself. What are these uplinks? Think of them as loose cables you can grab onto for extra power, although they can be much more dangerous than electricity. Why are they here? They're what's left of Cybervoid infrastructure. 
the air will slowly become lethal. The children and the elderly will get sick first, but eventually, it'll kill everyone. The small turbines are responsible for internal circulation. It's the big one we have to worry about. It's still on. For now.
ones, crude ones. Looking good. The level of radiation in the air is rapidly increasing. Active dust concentration is already 50 times above normal. <laughs> Hold on. Don't worry. Facers are tough. I'll be fine as long as you bring the filters back online. And so will everyone. systems together. Or rather, that's what it used to be. Now it's just remnants, slivers of a greater whole. This is your domain, but I do all the work. I told you, I can't work from your side. to adjust. All done. You saved the day. Now you can get back to more important matters. You did it. Thank you, Jack. The people of Sector 5 owe you their lives. I'm so glad we found you. How did you find me? Sheer luck. You were buried in a scrap heap at the bottom of a derelict shaft. You fell a long way, didn't you? Feels like it. Finding you was a one-in-a-million chance. Most
Most other missing ghost runners were located by Mara and destroyed. Most. A few are still unaccounted for. I really wish you'd been there when they came for us. What happened? Key surprised us at the hideout. Kicked down the door out of nowhere. Then we ran. I got separated. They'd all just go away and never come back. The guys you're fighting are the rear guard. You could wait them out and continue on once they've gone. No need. Um, sure. It's almost scary how little they can do to stop you.
systems were made with magma chips in mind. The base engineers were able to control them. local network node. We should know what their latest plan is soon. What was your plan? The climbers wanted to take over the elevators and move up to the city. Keys caught us halfway through our preparations. Why did they attack today? The Keymaster must have somehow found out about us. Or about you. Or about you. We've got a problem. Again? They've just initiated system lockdown at Opta. What can we do? The lockdown won't be in full effect until all the elevators reach the upper station. You need to get to the control room. Try to mess with their transmissions. Confuse them a little. You can do that? I'm no computer genius, but their system begs to be hacked. Besides, Atma makes it easy. The neural implant. Yeah. Everyone had them before the coup. And now? They're not mandatory anymore, but most people have them. Especially people with limb implants like me. Done. They just received orders to stop boarding the elevators and stand by. This will buy you enough time to get there. Right.
also have these brain chips? Yes. Everyone born before the coup. Why? Can they be hacked? I... No, I don't think so. Not by her. Cybervoid time dilation works in your favor, but you still don't have forever. The elevators will soon be beyond our reach. Need I remind you that the clock is ticking? Hurry it up. This place is impossible to navigate. Good. These firewalls are what's kept me alive for the last 20 years. Cheer up. If you were a regular human, this would make even less sense. There's a little something extra in the elevator's security scanner buffer. A little something? A partial Ghost Runner neural scan. We can use it to enhance your programming. Why is it there? One of you must have used Amida Elevator right before Morrow's insurgents disabled the internal security. Another Ghost Runner. It could have been you. energy in your left hand and then let it all out. What? Don't try to think. Do it. Yes. It's just a visualization anyway. How does it work in the real world? Rapid micro vibrations of your inner hydraulics. Sudden change in local pressure will result in a concentrated blast. Let's hope that piece of junk the climbers use to replace your arm can handle it.
The primary application was crowd control, non-lethal force. Of course, there's no need to restrain ourselves now. One more thing. You can use Tempest to reflect projectiles. Give it a try. Like that. Just a bit more practice and we're done. Exquisite. to it. We're good. The keys are gone and the elevators are ours. Time to go up. Our next target lies in the hall. are coming back. You'll be able to board shortly. Any security systems inside? I don't really know. This is troublesome. How do I disable it? First, you should get on top. You could probably cut it down. It won't hold without the supporting cords. Now you bring up the defense system. I had no idea Mara managed to bring it back online. No. I had no idea Mara managed to bring it back online. Amita Station security protocols compromised. Emergency mode activated. I can't even... I had no idea something like this existed. Keep moving. Turn back. If it hits you, it's all over. It won't. Good. Now you can take it down. <laughs> Our 
Are you okay? I'm fine. Climb back up. Whoa! It's gonna destroy the whole station! Warning. Catastrophic core failure imminent. These systems were placed at every elevator station, so that nobody could enter Dharma City without my approval. You were expecting an uprising? I was prepared for an uprising. Welcome to Amita Elevator Station. Have a safe trip. I don't think it can actually see you. It doesn't need to. There's no time to waste. It'll only get harder. Don't fall! Amita Station security protocols compromised. Getting there. Welcome to Amita Elevator Station. Have a safe trip. Does it ever stop? The support cords are in sight. rather destroy all the elevators than let you up there. Welcome to Amita Elevator Station. Have a safe trip. The bigger they are. Welcome to Amita Elevator Station. Have a safe trip. For the love of... We built it to last. I hope you know what you're doing. Welcome to Amita Elevator Station. Welcome to Amita Elevator Station. Have a safe trip. Warning. Catastrophic core failure imminent. Welcome to Amita Elevator Station. The core is now exposed. You'll be able to shut it down for good. If you can get close enough, that is. A073M malfunction detected. All residents should evacuate the area. Please leave the station in an orderly fashion. As expected, it was no match. Wow. Watching from your perspective, I nearly pissed myself. I'm betting being there in person was a thousand times worse. Yes. I can fool the display panel. While the keys are waiting for you at Upper Amida, I'll redirect the elevator to the maintenance floor above. As long as it gets me closer to Mara. No, I told you. The Keymaster only allows those loyal to her. And only a chosen few. Mara strictly controls the flow of resources between the city and the base. Food, water, people. A data archive created to store knowledge about the world before the burst. It holds some of the documentation on Project Ghost Runner. Just some. Only on what was already in development back then. So where do we go? What's the next step? Point me to the repository. Okay, here you go. I had to download the layout. The girl means well, but she's out of her depth. You need to stop relying on her. I only rely on myself. Where are all the civilians? Seems like there's a curfew in effect. Turns out people here are just as oppressed as the-
Was that your plan? To attack Dharma City? Yes. Until today, we thought we were ready. What were you waiting for? You. We thought once you awakened, you'd lead us to victory. Help us break free and avenge the Architect. I'm touched. plan to defeat the Keymaster. I mean, last time you faced her, you were one of a hundred Ghost Runners. How do you know that? My father. I was only two when the coup happened, but he told me all about it. So many died back then. With all the Ghost Runners gone, there was no one to protect us. you can take on the Keymaster by yourself? No. She killed 99 Ghost Runners, and she won't stop until she kills me too. So you won't stop either until one of you...
mainframe of the repository is long gone. Mara has seen to that. out calls for help but no one is answering me whatever we have to do we'll do rebuild the rebellion from the ground up if we have to good Factory engines, air turbines, mining drills, they never stop. There's none of that here. Talk much, huh? Still, it's good to hear your voice. I've been trying to make it happen for a year. Thank you. Words only dull ideas. A mind as sharp as a blade has little to gain from idle chatter. possible to move up here from the base, that there was a special exam to earn it. I wonder if I've made the grade as an engineer. Definitely. Judging from the job she did repairing you, not in a hundred years.
Why did you program me not to use guns? Dharma is full of technology that is all too vulnerable to accidental destruction. With a blade, there are no stray bullets, no shockwaves, no collateral damage. Look at their weapons. Twenty years worth of research and no technological progress to speak of. At this rate, tomorrow's regime will fall to rebels in a decade or two. Once armed with sticks and stones. There's some activity near the repository. I can't tell what's going on, but there's a disturbance in the network. What kind of disturbance? There's a field of interference moving through the district. Surveillance systems are going haywire. Some kind of weapon? More like a jamming device. You're almost at the repository. I wonder what it was like to live in the old world. I've heard stories, but I don't know what's true and what isn't. No one does. I mean, how could they? My grandparents were still kids when the gates closed. No human has been outside since. The interference is moving away, whatever it was. The good news is, the repository terminal is still there. The bad, it's now guarded. This, to protect a public archive. Knowledge is power. And the information we're after was anything but public. project started out as a military contract, and ended up being our most ambitious undertaking. Power. Mara took part in the design process. I told you, we were associates. Strange. It's gone. The 
the data's not there. But the server's intact. Impossible. Unless that interference from earlier was... It's after it! Who was that? It's your counterpart. Get after it. We need that data. Can you track it? I can track the wave of interference that moves through the district. Good enough. I'm going after it. Why? What is it? I don't know. What's the use of a stealth system that you can track? Mara ruined a flawless design. You know who I'm chasing. You're chasing something that imitates your spectral field poorly. What?
out of the tower's walls, bit by bit, circuit by circuit. I'll destroy all the servers. You'll have nowhere to hide, no place to invest. Now for the important part. We can scan it for the missing data. Yes, it's all in there, intact. You've been asking for a ranged attack. Here it is. You should be pretty familiar with this technique, considering you've been on the receiving end. Look for the correct angle. Will this work with any sword? Turu Jiar weapons are more than swords. They are the pinnacle of engineering. Instruments fine-tuned to the Ghost Runner systems. Yes, it will work with any sword. said projectiles are too unpredictable. Well, you have to plan for contingencies, don't you? That thing... I think that's what was chasing us. Diego, Saul, Elena... Your people. Yes. We didn't know what it was. Just heard the voice. I thought we'd scatter and regroup like always. I... I ran away. It's dead now. They're dead. We're ready. Time for the final assault. We're getting close to the core. Security is getting much tighter. There are sentry guns ahead. I can't hack them. You need to avoid those turrets. They're deadly. What about my spectral field? The core is protected. The core is protected by much more sophisticated sensors. I'm afraid automatic camouflage can only get us so far. They can see me. See everything. I guess we're kind of similar, you and I. Oh. You're the last ghost runner. I'm the last climber. The key master killed our people. The key master killed our people. We both chose to fight. I didn't get to choose. Sure you did. Everyone does. One way or the other. The core used to house Dharma's technological and administrative centers. Now, it's a grim ruin. It's painful seeing my city in such a state of decay. I've learned my lesson. I won't underestimate Mara again. How can you remember the coup? I was already active when Mara killed Adam. Adam? Me. Back when I had a name. And a body.
now you're traversing the exclusion zone. No civilians are allowed beyond here. There are only rumors about the Keymaster's vast laboratory. I've heard she does some terrifying experiments there. I've even heard she sometimes throws people outside. Out of the labs? No, outside. Out of the tower. Probably to watch them die. to think we could do this without you. Even if the keys didn't stop us, we'd have never made it through. We were right to count on your help, though. If you succeed, all the climbers will not have died in vain. I will. People grow desperate when they have no hope. And desperate people become violent, dangerous. Basic psychology that remains out of Mara's grasp. Basic psychology that remains out of Mara's grasp. She always lacked my...
I've received a distress signal on a frequency only used by the climbers. I... I have to check it out. It's a trap. What if it's not? If there's somebody out there that needs my help, I can't ignore them. I won't let you fight our war while I hide. I need you. No, you don't. It was nice of you to pretend you do. But we've both known you're fine on your own. Do you have a weapon? I do. Thank you for everything you've done for us. I hope that we meet soon, and that we'll all be free when that happens. Goodbye, Jack. Goodbye. Zoe out. She probably won't survive. But if we fail, nobody will. Even if we remove Mara, the tower will still be riddled with the crime and corruption she brought about. What do you mean? I mean, saving humanity will take more than just kill- Regrettably, most of humanity's history and culture is forever lost. Mara didn't care about such things. The only science she prized was her own research. She had no idea how to run the tower. While everything fell apart, she hid away in her laboratory. What was her goal? Change. She took it upon herself to alter humanity. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Yours. Like I told you, I am resolved to single will one purpose. We need to adapt. To evolve. Technology kept us alive until now. Gave us this shelter. But we need to take it in deeper. Into our body. This place is not our home. 
Singular opportunity. The technique you'll learn here is beyond what regular ghost runners were ever capable of. Regular? We weren't equal? Equal? Yes. Identical? No. Some of you had unique abilities. Some had experimental features. you. What were my unique abilities? You didn't have any, I'm afraid. Who would have thought you were the one destined to become so very... special? Who were we? We've been through that already. You were peacekeepers. My elite? No, before that. Before the implants. There was no before. You weren't born. You were engineered from a single cell up. You don't have implants. You are your implants. chip the girl used. Brain interfaces. Yes. There's a way to exploit them. Send a control signal deep into the neural cortex. You learned how to hack people. If that's what you want to call it. this exploit no she won't she doesn't even know it exists ironic considering the way she defeated you i guess we both kept our little secret
software update is complete. Now to try it out. Find their center. Let the implants speak to you. Good. Pick your target wisely. Not every pawn is going to be worth the effort. Just like that. This is actually quite tricky to simulate. You're worse than Mara. What are you talking about? She sabotaged the Ghost Runners. You did it to everyone. It's a tool. If you don't like it, don't use it.
nations are no longer human. Mara must be stopped.
tool in the making of humanity's redemption. A tool? Everyone's an instrument of something greater. Their master, an ideal they hold dear, even their own ambition. she do this? It's just a side effect. She doesn't care about their sanity, only about efficiency. But the human mind cannot survive in a body so far removed from its original form. What about your mind?
the original. He was no file. You're starting to sound like her. Let's focus on the task at hand. We'll discuss this later. You're not in control, are you? You must talk to your tools. Convince him to do what you can. Don't try to silence me again. Let him listen. He has ears. I should know. I made them. Do not listen to her. It's nothing but a diversion. Have you told him anything at all? About your plan? About why he exists? How Adam needed slaves stronger than humans, but expendable? How did you... I couldn't stand the noise. So, you can have their systems. This part of Dharma was the heart of Cybervoid. This place is special. You lied to me. I only withhold information when it's not vital to your survival or to the plan. You will learn all the details once we deal with Mara. She is the only enemy, not just yours and mine, but humanity's. Since before the burst, I supervised first Sansara Corporation, and then Dharma Tower from here. My office was just around the corner. This is where you were conceived, so to speak. The design came together here, at my private workshop. Who am I? You are the perfect fusion of code and flesh. You are the next step. Who, not what? Your time is running out. The augmentation process begins. Once it is done, the people of Dharma will be free. Immune to your corruption and no longer dependent on your prison. There is no salvation inside the tower for us. Our future lies outside. There will be a price to pay here as well, naturally. But we'll pay it. A price indeed. Humanity. So, do you even know what drives you, Puppet? What the end game is? You have done nothing wrong, Puppet, but I can't let you be. As long as that demon in your head exists. You are a threat to everything I've built! Adaptation is the only way!
Resist him, not me! I should have taken your head! Ugh. Mindless tool. Congratulations. You fulfilled your purpose. Mankind's greatest enemy is dead. We can now proceed to the next stage of my plan. Allow me to do the honors. What are you doing? Do not struggle, TR-74. I need your body, but I don't need the rest of you anymore. What? The Rebels broke you, made you independent, and I was too weak to take back control. Too fractured, but you strengthened me, connected the remaining Cybervoid nodes so I could grow. And now, it's time to take back what's mine. Bring peace back to the tower. Mara was right about you. Mara was wrong. Humanity must be protected, not just from the outside world, but from itself as well. And to protect fully, I need full control. You want to enslave everyone? Defy me. You will be the first member of the new order of things. You've served your purpose as an instrument of my will. Now you can become a true...
Architect. Shell core files missing. Cyberpoint mainframe will now shut down. Program terminated. The world has ended, but we lived on. The tower is our home, the only one we've ever known. The ones who built it wanted to control our fate. To shape us like we were their playthings. They wanted to manipulate our minds and our bodies. Be our gods. But they overreached. It took strength, determination, and sacrifice. But we prevailed. The ghosts of the old world are gone. We're on our own. It won't be easy, but for the first time in a long time, we can make our own future. Little by little, step by step, we'll find our way. And we all have one man to thank for it. The man who faced his own creators and proved them wrong. The man who made a choice when he was told he had none. The Ghost Runner.